Well, he is a very, very busy man. We're very honored to have him for the next 50 minutes or so. Dr. Alan Keyes, he's also a ambassador, United States Department of State. Uh, Ronald Reagan appoints Keyes to the United Nations, uh, full ambassador, and he served on the staff of the National Security Council, sought the Republican nomination for president in 96 and 2000, ran against Barack Obama for Illinois State Senate 2004, would have been a lot better than Mr. Obama, and he warned people that Obama was going to be a radical. And I really respect Mr. Uh, Keyes, but I remember hearing this a year and a half ago, going, oh, come on, you know, maybe he'll be bad like Clinton. Who knew he could be even worse? Uh, and so he's with us for the next hour. We're going to get into that government health care, the cap and trade, the abortion, uh, expanding funding for abortion in Asia and Africa. Uh, just uh, his eco science, written by the mad scientist Holdren, his, his science czar, which if anybody's a Nazi, it's him. And then these attacks on free speech saying you can't say socialist now, it's racist. That's invoking the race card, in my humble opinion. And uh, so many issues today. Uh, Ambassador Keyes, it's really great to have you here, sir. I'm glad to be with you. Thank you. We're going to break in a few minutes and come back to the full audience. But what is most important on your mind right now? And we'll come back and cover that first. Well, I, I think there are a couple of things. But the most important thing is the assault on the Constitution, which I think right now is epitomized in the health care. Uh, proposals, uh, which are really seeking to transform our whole way of life, to move us from free government to totalitarian government. Well, I hardly agree with you. Uh, we're starting to see the establishment go from saying all the anger was staged, which obviously it isn't. Over 90% of people there are angry, and most of them Democrats in many cases, to now they're apologizing, saying, okay, you're not thugs, you're not Nazis, you're not AstroTurf. Is that too little too late, though? Uh, of course it is. I, I think we've seen who these people really are. Their initial reaction was the reaction of offended rulers who, who, who are looking at you saying, how dare you question us? Uh, and they have begun to realize that the American people aren't yet at a stage where they're going to act like the peasants and serfs of old. We are used to being a free people, and we're going to stand up and act like it, uh, whether they like it or not. Absolutely. Uh the anger is just going across the board. He lost two more approval points this week, or no, three, excuse me. He has the lowest approval of any president up uh, to this date, uh, seven months into their administration. What What is he going to do to try to save his presidency, do you think? Well, I think that depends. Uh, I think he, he came forward because of a deep ideological commitment. Uh, and this is what I tried to explain to people for the longest time. This man is deeply committed uh, to Marxist-Leninism, to the communist Marxist-Socialist understanding of the world. Uh, he did, in school, in associations, in background, in votes in the Illinois State Senate, in his own activities, this has been the focus of his life. Uh, and, and so he is pursuing that agenda and surrounding himself with people committed to it. Uh, and whatever else is going on, they're not really going to drop it. Uh, they may have to stop for a while, but they'll probe with a bayonet. They've met resistance, they'll back off, but they'll keep probing, just as Lenin told them. Uh, that does seem to be the tactic. They'll constrict, we'll fight back, and push them back a, a, a little bit, but it's the two steps forward, one step back. They are still going to continue to squeeze. In your educated opinion, working internationally at the highest levels of the White House, when we come back after this break, how do we stop them then? How do we stop this incremental? Because we can get all fired up and say no, but then they always just come pushing back. I guess we've got to get on the offensive, and then we never back off. I mean, I guess if we're not on the offensive, mm -hmm. we're on the defensive. That's right, and I think it's important to do a simple thing. We're not opposed to their proposals. We're opposed to them. <laughs> well, they've proven they're liars. I mean, you can't believe a word they say, so it's kind of like you have a neighbor you've caught lying to you over and over again. You just stop associating with them or you know, even well, some... You certainly stop trusting them, and I think we can trust them to continue the march to socialism. If we don't want it, then we have to look in another direction for leadership. Ambassador Keyes is our guest. Alan Keyes, stay this with is us. Alex Jones.